Hello everybody, this is Stringing of the Back to kick off round 6 for Group A. The penultimate round of the group stage begins. And for Group A, we have got this fight card for you. So you can see our main event. It is Dexing going up against Gold. A big match for Gold. A defeat for them will all but knock them out at the group stage. And a defeat for Dexing will keep the pressure on them going into the final round. But before that, we've got Rainbow versus Crownova. Again, another essentially a knockout match. The loser of that match will be knocked out. And then we have Asta going up against Sunlight Rabbit. Victory for Asta would put them in the top four. But at first, we have got Conciliatory Pass going up against the 100%ers Black Beauty. Right, in the red corner for Conciliatory Pass, we got Irritator. Conciliatory Pass been one of the surprise packages of this tournament. I didn't think they would do this well. But they do have a tough run in here, going up against Tabletop in Black Beauty and then Sunlight Rabbit in round 7. In the blue corner for Black Beauty, we got Super Eel Karkiria, Awaken Mode on 3. Well, Black Beauty has been in supreme form in this tournament. One of only two 100% records left. Looking to make it 6 out of 6. Fan is too close. Uh, with no grass dinosaurs in this matchup, but we do have a blitz type with the Brachyceratops. Oh, good start. The warning effect getting activated right away. This Irritator has been an absolute beast for conciliatory pass. It really has performed. And that's another hit on the board. That's going to max up the attack boost as well. This is a good start from conciliatory pass. And I should say a win for them will pretty much all but knock Crown over out of this tournament. Oh, that's a tie. It's been a slow start from Black Beauty so far. Well, there's their first shot of the match. It's a power drain. Black Beauty getting on the board. And the Eocock Hero will have a chance for an awakened hit as well. Elementor Fusion! Oh, Jarko Fusion! <laughs> oh, but Irritator gets the crit! Massive hit from Conciliatory Pass! And I think even with the Awakened Mode on, the Eocock area is gonna go down. Now then, coming in next for Black Beauty, we've got the Blitz type Brachyceratops. Well, this little terror has been really effective for Black Beauty in this tournament, more than I thought it would be. And it has played a pivotal role in why Black Beauty is sitting at 5-0. and And because it is a blitz type, you know the deal, it's going to go for two crits. Oh, I got that one. That should down the Irritator, and it does. Okie dokie, coming in next for conciliatory pass, we got the Sancho Ruggers. Again, another surprisingly impressive combatant in this team. I should point out, a, a losing bonus point would be a good outcome for conciliatory pass. It would put more breathing space between themselves and the bottom guys. Right, crit number two. Oh, and he gets that one else as well. Wacky Ceratops landing both crit shots there. And giving Black Beauty the lead. Okay, that's a tie. But you know what's coming. It's Plasma Anchor time. Ties will suit the Bracky Ceratops and he's built for it. It's got the, it's got the Plasma Anchor. It was a slow start from Black Beauty, but they really have turned the screw. Can Conciliatory Pass rally back? Oh, that's another tie. No Plasma Anchor this time, though. Oh, they can rally back. It's a Venom Fang. Pianitsky Source is going to poison the Brachyceratops. That poison will chip away at Brachyceratops' health as well. Good shot there from Conciliatory Past. Oh, 
Okay, that tie is going to finish off. Oh, it won't. Oh, yeah, of course. It's tie type, isn't it? More chip damage. But it is the Sandororas going there. Okie dokie, coming in third for conciliatory pass. We have got Super Triceratops, Awaken Mode on three. And an awakened hit from this Triceratops will get the win for conciliatory pass here. So that awakened hit could be key here. Okay, that's a tie. The trike got the tie attack, but the Brachyceratops has one more Plasma Anchor to use. Oh, but it gets another hit on the board. Anyanguira dive to come. Okay, that's once. Okay, that's another tie. Brachyceratops doesn't survive this time. Dino Slash. Right. Coming in third for Black Beauty, we've got Ace Dino Tactor. We really haven't seen much of this guy, to be honest. Yes. I mean, he was pretty effective against Cryonova, if I remember correctly, and that was it. But can it get, can it secure yet another win for Black Beauty in this tournament? Oh, there's another hit. Can the Triceratops survive to the Awaken mode? Right, that's twice. Oh, I don't think it's going to. Oh, it does. Right, it's all on this. And I think even a tie won't be enough to kill it. But a crit could one-shot Ace here. Oh. It went for it, but Ace hadn't, was having none of it. And Black Beauty survives and gets the win to make it 6 out of 6. And what a tournament they have in. Well, they could go all the way. They really could. And Conciliatory Pass, well, they'll probably have a nervous look over their shoulders now. But they're still in the driving seat. It's still in their hands. Right, on to match number 2. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Asta, we have got Alpha Kentrosaurus. And that's a good field if you're Asta. Kentrosaurus here will get terrain advantage, so it will get the first hit. Which will be a crit. Win, a win here for Asta, and they can close the gap on conciliatory pass to just a single point. A bonus point win here, and they will go level. They'd still be below them by virtue of the head, head but they would be level going into that final round. Right, as for Sunlight Rabbit in the blue corner, we've got the orange Triceratops. Victory for Sunlight Rabbit would assure their place in the knockout rounds. In fact, I think even a losing bonus point would do it. And I don't think they would be able to win the, a bonus point win, and they would still have an outside chance of winning this group. Oh, good poison as well. Good start from Asta. But the Triceratops respond with a hit of his own. So it's a pivotal match this could be. Defeat for Asta would put them would mean they're four adrift. Would they would be four adrift of conciliatory pass in fourth without the head to head. Which means Asta essentially would have to get a 3-0 win in the next round to get in our top four and hope conciliatory pass loses and then we don't know what other results are going to happen and that's not a good start for Asta right coming in next for Asta we've got Megalosaurus well it wouldn't be ideal but it would give them an easier chance to get in the top four if they did get a losing bonus point out of this match but ideally they need to win and hope conciliatory pass loses in the final round.
Oh, that's a crit. That's a that's a very welcome crit from Megalosaurus. Oh, almost killed it. Almost killed it. <laughs> I was expecting it to die, to be honest. But it will die from this crit. Oh, it's going to be secret on secret here, because coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, we've got a Patasaurus. Secret to Koyo. All secret moves. We might see well, we might see some good secret moves in this match. Right, that's it's high. Ooh, a Patasaurus landing the first shot. But Megalosaurus responding with a zero G throw. Well, I said we'd see some secret moves in this match, and we are. Big shot from Asta. Okay, that's a tie. Okay, a Patasaurus' moves have been triggered. Ooh, but we're not going to see him because it's going down. And Asta has a crucial lead going in to Sunlight Rabbit's third dino, which is Super Anti-Ceratops. Now, Sunlight Rabbit, not out of this. By a long way, they got the Awakened hit if they get that far. And Anti-Ceratops, very balanced, so any Awakened hit with any of these moves will do a lot of damage. So Asta does have to be careful of that. But if Megalosaurus can get a good shot here... Ooh, that's a tie. You, you know, he can secure at least the losing bonus point here. It would take a lot of pressure off him. And well, they're not going to do it with Megalosaurus because that lightning strike is going to finish him off. Right, coming in third for Asta, we've got Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus. He's a mouthful, but he's going to need to be a handful. <laughs> um, we haven't seen too much of this guy, to be honest. I'd say overall he's been a little bit of a letdown. But if there's ever a time for the performance now... Oh, that's a big, that could be a huge crit. And a crit block as well. And a big war cry from the Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus. This could be huge for Asta. A crit which will drop Anchiceratops' his HP below half. And a crit block as well. Right, that's one. So you know what that means. Lam Magna Crustatus will be going for scissors. And getting it. This could be the win for Asta. This would be a huge result for them. And well, Sunlight Rabbit, well, it'll be a setback for them, but I'm pretty confident they'll still go for it. And yet, there it is. Massive win for Asta. A huge result for them. And that puts them one point behind conciliatory past in fourth, with one round left to play. It still means Asta will have to win in round 7 to get in that top 4, but at least they don't have to get a 3-0 win. They've given themselves a real opportunity. Right, on the map. Ooh, interesting. The Alpha Arena. Which means both of our teams are going to get terrain advantage in this match. Right, in the red corner for Monsieur Raybone, we have got Paris Dinotector. Hmm, Dino Protector could be a big factor in this matchup. And both of these guys have to win to stay in this tournament. A defeat for Raybone wouldn't officially knock them out, but it would mean they would have to get a 3-0 win against Asta in the final round. 
and hope that other results go their way. Right, for Crown Nova in the blue corner, we've got Aloatrox. Well, this win or bust for Crown Nova, defeat will end all hopes of getting out of this group. A win, and they keep their tournament hopes alive. But a normal win wouldn't be enough at the minute. They would still have to get a bonus point win against Gold in round 7. Oh, that's a tie. And that's another hit. This is a good start from Raybow. Getting early hits on the board, filling up the Dino Tector. But Atrox hits really, really hard with that crit, so do bear that in mind. Like this. Attack boost coming in as well. This is going to be a big tail smash from Atrox. So I think we are pretty much one hit apiece. And look at that. Attack boots activating as well. Massive hit from Karanova. Tight. Okay, the Dino Tector's failed. Here we go. Dino Tector. Um. <laughs> well, again, if an ultimate leaf does happen, it's not the worst thing in the world. Well, it's not going to happen, and instead, Atrox is going to get a crucial hit. Which won't matter in the end, because Rajasaurus comes in next with Terrain Advantage. But that Terrain Advantage will be wasted on the weakened Atrox. Right, coming in next for Rainbow, we've got Alpha Rajasaurus with, again, Terrain Advantage. It's going to get the next hit. It's going to be a softening beam. It's probably going to be lethal for Allosaurus Atrox, unfortunately, for Cryonova, but... You know, it does eat up that terrain hit. So Super Minus will come in with 4 HP. So it's not too bad. I know they'll miss a chance to get a t big tail smash off. You know, but, you know, it happens. Who knows? Maybe Atrox will survive this. I don't think it will. No, I didn't think it would. But at least Crown Nova survives the Dino Tector skin. Right, coming in next for Crown Nova, we've got Super Minus. He's got type advantage over the Raj. That will come in handy. Although, it only gets type advantage when the Futaba Cannon gets triggered, so Crown Nova will still need to get a hit in this match with the Super Minus to get that type advantage. And even with the type disadvantage, Rajasaurus it still has Death Fire, so Crown Nova will have to be wary of that as well. Ooh, that's a hit from the Raj. But Super Mimus responding with a shot of its own. This could be a slog fest, unless Rajasaurus hits with a crit here. Nope. And the Futaba Cannon has been triggered now. Ooh. Death Fire has been triggered. That could be huge. That does give Raybone the chance to go in the lead. Oh, but he doesn't get it. Instead, it's Crown over getting the hit. And Alpha Dice. Let's see what this comes out as. Oh, hey, I don't think you'll mind that. It st he stopped Death Fire. That's more important than anything. I mean, yeah, he could have killed the Rajasaurus and gone 2 1 up, but he stopped the Death Fire, and that's probably more crucial. And well, he's going to get a hit anyway and take it out. Okay, a 4. <laughs> he could, could wish he had that last time. <laughs> But nonetheless, Rajasaurus going down. Right, coming in next for Rainbow, we've got Super Therizinosaurus. Found Chi, found Chi. Awaken mode on three. No, one awakened hit could spell disaster for Crown Nova, so they do have to be wary of that. However, they do have terrain advantage with the Ka Chasmosaurus that could come in third, and that hit will be a crap. So if he can chip away at this fairy's HP, 
See if he can waste the awaken mode with the terrain advantage. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's a massive hit! That could be a massive Futaba Cannon! Well, Cryo Nova needs a bonus point win from one of their two matches. Can they get it here? Which would give themselves a real chance. Look at that! And Rainbow really flirting with disaster. Oh, ooh, so was I there. <laughs> okay, well, Raybone does get the next hit. That's a big recovery as well. That could be a big hit for Raybone. Oh, it puts Fairy above H half HP. Okay, that's twice. Ooh, but Super Mimus gets the hit, which could be... This is massive, because the Awaken Mode's going to come in here. Even if the Suko dies with Awakened Tide, the Chasmosaurus will come in and get the hit because of the terrain advantage. And that hit will be lethal. Is this going to be Crown Over's victory? Can they get it? Okay, Archaeopteryx Charm coming in here. That'll help the fairy survive a hit from the Chasmosaurus, should that be the case. That's a tie. Can Crown Over get this hit to keep their chance of a bonus point win alive? They can and it's a crit! Is this lethal? I forgot what type this Super Mimer says. But is this lethal? I think it's defense type. It's lethal! And it's Cryonova's win. What a huge result for them. A bonus point win as well. That is massive. And they have a real chance of escaping Group A now. As for Raybone, well, I think that's going to be it. I think they actually needed at least a losing bonus point out of this match. Even a 3-0 win won't be enough for them now. I think, yeah, they are done in this group. But a huge result for Cryonova. And that gives them a real, real chance. Right then, on to our main event. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Dexin, we have got Uteraptor. Ooh, interesting. Dexin will get terrain advantage in this match, courtesy of this Uteraptor. So it will get the first hit, and it will be a crit. Not ideal if you're gold. A win here for Dexin would 100% guarantee their place in the knockout rounds. A bonus point win for Dexin would still give them an outside chance of topping this group. But in the blue corner for gold, we've got Stegosaurus. Well, it's win or bust for gold, anything other than a win, and they're out. Same boat as Cryonova. And like Cryonova, they will have, I do believe they will have to get a bonus point win from somewhere. Whether it's in this match or the last one against, I think they're playing... I can't remember who they're playing now. It'll come to me. Oh, that's right, they're playing Cryonova, of course they are. <laughs> Oh, that's a good shot there. The mole attack coming in. Um, Dexon, well, they got a good win last time out against Asta, which was a big result for them. Given how the table looks at the minute. But they have kind of dropped off the boil a bit. They had a really good start. Got two good wins, and then... They're, again, maybe they're getting some swagger back. We'll see. But this is just the start, son. Gold wanted. Well, need it, to be honest. Okay, that's a tie. Earth Barrier is still in play for the Stegosaurus, so if Dexin does get ahead, won't do much damage. Okay, they, there is that said hit, a Biting Wind coming in. Earth Barrier will eat that up. Oh, no, I've done it again. <laughs> right, that was wrong. And that means it's going to be curtain for the steg. And Dexin has a, goes into a slight lead. Can't really call it a lead, to be honest. Right, coming in next for Sut for Gold, we have got Acrocanthosaurus. Are you blitz type? No, you're not. You're the uh, normal one. Um, this acro has done 
quite good for gold. It, it's got type advantage over the Utahraptor, so, I mean, that doesn't really matter at this point. But it does limit the damage Utahraptor can do if it does get hits. Okay, there's a time. Blech. Okie dokie, now things get interesting. Coming in for Dex and we got Spinosaurus. Hmm, it's got type advantage, which is going to be a problem for that app. And it's got all water moves as well. <laughs> and it's heroic type, so if it gets a Hydro Cutter off, that app is going to feel it. Right in the rib cage. I believe the Burning Dash will get triggered for the Acro as well. Yes, it did. Okay, there's a hit. That's a Fireball. But the only thing this hit is going to really achieve is triggering the Hydro Cutter. <laughs> Whatever it takes, Gold cannot afford to go Scissors. Okay, there is a hit from the Spino. I think it's, yep, Tragic Sphere. It's going to do a lot more damage than the Acro's Firebomb did. Oh, look at that. Good shot from Dexit. It's tie. Ooh, that's another hit. And I think that is going to be curtains for Acro Campusaurus. And it is. Just like that, isn't it? Right, coming in third for gold, we've got Ampelosaurus. Now, this Ampelosaurus really has put a shift in for gold. And it's going to have to put in a shift again. Well, the chance of the bonus point win is gone. But they can still win this match. And if they can get the Spino killed quick, it's got type advantage over Sorophagonus. But again, gold needs hits. Oh, not to get hit. Ooh, that's a crit. That's a much needed crit. Good shot there from gold. Okay, that's a water sword. That will cut Spino down to the side. Is this going to be lethal? Indeed it is. Right, coming in third for Dex here. We've got Sorrow Baganax. This has been really tense. You can feel the tension here. If Dexin can get at least a losing bonus point out of this, that will probably all but put them through. I mean, it won't be 100% guaranteed, but... Free clear of Aster in fifth, with the head-to-head -head as well. Which means essentially all they would need is a losing bonus point against Black Beauty, at the very least. Or just hope that Aster doesn't win. Oh, that's a big crit! Okay, that's the LBP secured. Losing bonus point, that is. Gold on the brink. Is this going to be the end for gold? Yes, it is. And Dexin gets the win. The win, which guarantees their place in the knockout rounds. But it wasn't a bonus point win, so that pretty much guarantees Black Beauty will win this group. But it is Dexin's win, and gold bows out at the group stage. Right, let's have a look at the table, because we've got a lot to cover. Well, that is the group, ladies and gentlemen, for Group A. Black Beauty, 6 out of 6 on 20 points. Probably 95% sure they're going to win, the, that they've won this group. I mean, they do play Dexin in the final round, currently sitting on second place, but De Dexin would have to get a 3-0 win to go above Black Beauty in the table to first by virtue of the head-to-head. -head. So, given how well Black Beauty has been playing in this tournament, I don't think Dexin's going to get a 3-0 win. They might win the match, but I don't think it's going to be free now. But yeah, Dexin already safely through. These two can relax and, you know, they can just slog out at each other and see what happens. Then we have Sunlight Rabbit in third place on 12 points. Still not through yet. Conciliatory Pass clinging on. Fourth place there on 11. Asta closing that gap to, to one point. In fifth, Cryonova still in it. Eight point. And then, yeah, these two are officially out. Even if Raybone gets a 3 0 win, Conciliatory Past has the head to head. So, yeah, unfortunately for Raybone and Gold, they are going out. Raybone, very unfortunate to be honest, because 
free losing bonus points just shows how tight their matches have been and that they've come really close but just couldn't get over the line and you know in an alternate universe could be free wins and then all of a sudden they're sitting well third and gold yeah it's been a tough tournament for them but at least they got a win let's have a look at our final round in this group so yeah i think the big one is the this matchup here sun knight rabbit versus conciliatory path and providing that the other that if Aster and Crownova get results in their match, this would essentially be a knockout match. So let's hypothesize and say Crownova gets the win, they would be above conciliatory past by virtue of the head to head, and then Aster gets a win, which would put them to third. But then you'd have a scenario where the loser of this match would be out and the winner would go through. Or if it's a draw, amazingly, both of them will go out. Actually, no, because Sunlight Rabbit would have the head to head over Aster, but look, all these hypotheses this will be settled in the final round in this group but yeah still to play for and until and that's going to end this session here so until next time ta-ta